Hello, this is Miguel Angel Conde from the University of Leon, and today I'm going to um, uh, present you my paper entitled Adaptation of Robust in Project to the Pandemic Situation. The outline of the presentation is a brief introduction to the project, the work that we are currently done, um, the COVID emergency, and uh, new solutions. Um, Robust Team project is an Erasmus Plus uh, granted project that uh, aims to define a methodology and a set of tools that will help learners to develop computational thinking by using programming, uh, physical devices and robotics in pre-university education studies. The project also tried to improve the teacher education by providing them with a framework for easy STEM education in different educational contexts by providing guidelines or good practices and lessons to lessons learned to um, a different context. Um, this is going to be tested in different socioeconomical contexts, and that's why we have involving several partners for different countries, uh, difference between uh, universities and schools. During the project, we have several activities related with uh, project management, for instance. Uh, quality uh, quality assurance, uh, some pilot phases in order to test what we have done, and a dissemination activity. We have also some outputs, outputs related with uh, the guides and tools that we have to, or we are trying to provide to the stakeholders, and also the um, room steam environment where we are going to upload and we are going to publish and um, make uh, um, accessible all the results that we uh, we have obtained by, uh, during the project. In addition, we have some learning, teaching, training activities uh, related with training staff, but also with the exchange of students between uh, schools in order to uh, know how they work uh, in their context and in other socioeconomical contexts, so we can exchange knowledge bet between them. And finally, we have some multiplier events, one hackathon in Portugal and uh, two local dissemination events in Finland and in, 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 Port in um, Germany. Um, a uh, final conference that uh, will try to, to summarize what we have found. Um, regarding the work currently done, we have following we have been following the, the schedule, but on month 18 of the project, we have the COVID pandemic, so everything changes. Until that moment, we have produced uh, several kits, we have pro produced several challenges and many challenges because we are going to apply a challenge-based learning approach. And uh, we have some results such as the ones that you can see on the screen during the hour exchanges, that, the, the changes that uh, have been carried out until month 18th. And the problem is that we have the COVID uh, emergency and travel is not easy or secure, so we cannot travel, we cannot do these changes. Working is hard because the institution is locked down and they, they have to adapt themselves to the new online situation, looking for new ways to, to assess the students, which is also hard. This means that we have to adapt our uh, activities and our exchanges that were in a, uh, completed in a very good percentage, but for instance, multiplier events and it's to be uh, developed in another way. And some of these changes, and especially uh, those related with the Finnish, uh, with uh, Portuguese and Spanish people travel to, traveling to Finland are not going to, to happen. We need to look for ways to, to solve this. And the ways are using online uh, solutions and also um, to provide with um, uh, simulators in order to complete, to carry out the challenges that we are uh, that the students are, are um, addressing by using um, hardware in the loop uh, simulators and also by using um, robot remote labs that allow the students to program something that probably is not there and that allow the students to collaborate with the students that are not in their um, classes. So in this way, uh, we can uh, maintain a social distance and we can also continue working in the project, which is really, really important. Regarding the training, the training, uh, uh, training week that we have for staff, uh, it is going to be carried out uh, online. As conclusions, we can say that it's better to uh, bend than to break. So um, the idea is to be flexible enough to support all these kind of uh, situations such as COVID, and to allow um, have a good um, good results taking into account that the technology uh, facilitates us a way to 
uh, complete the things without uh, the necessity to be there and without the necessity of a, a continuous face-to-face -face social exchange. So we need to be flexible enough to adapt us to the uh, current situation on this sense. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions, uh, I will see you during the sessions. Thank you.